Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the engine feature auto reimport? Auto reimport is a feature in the engine that's not very well known that allows you to basically have the engine monitor a folder or folders or files. When those files change or new files get added, it automatically imports them into the engine into the appropriate place that you want it to go in. If you've ever used Unity, you could think of this as basically how the engine natively works because it automatically monitors all the source files because all the source files are in the project itself. Now with the way Unreal Engine works, it converts source files into its own uAsset format. So it doesn't natively really do this technically. So let's go ahead and look at an example of this. By default, auto reimport is turned on and it will auto reimport anything that's been changed or added inside the game folder. Now if we go ahead and we look at our folder for this project right here. So here's my blank project you'll notice we don't have a game folder. The game folder is basically the virtually mapped folder for the content folder. So this content folder has a mannequin, my content, source content, and third party BP folders. And you can see those here, mannequin, content, source content, and third person. The game folder automatically ignores our collections and our developer folders. And it's just basically a virtual mapping. So let me show you it working. Here's my content folder. Here's my base folder. If I was to go ahead and open this back up and I'll grab an image. So let's grab an image off of my hard drive. We'll grab this one. Where'd it go? I have a cat. Here we go. And we'll drop it into here. I'm dropping this into my content folder. Then we should get a prompt. A change to a source content file has been detected. Would you like to import it? We hit import. It's going to process the file and make an asset. So we have a texture imported. The same thing that would happen is if we were to take an image and drop it into here or use our import option, which is right here, the same result. Now the downside to this is if we go ahead and open up our physical folder, we're going to find a problem. We have our asset, which is what we want to use in the engine, but our source file is still there. So if we were to build out this project or we we're sending this somewhere else, our actual content folder, which should only contain content for the game, contains the source file. And we don't want that. So let's go ahead and delete this. And you'll notice one thing that's nice is if you delete something that's been imported and it knows where it's at, the source, you can also delete the source. So we're going to do that. You'll notice our folder cleans itself back up. Now the auto reimport options under editor preferences. So if we open up our editor preferences and go to loading and saving, you'll find them here under auto reimport, but you'll find them hidden because why not? By default, it is set to monitor content directories and that's turned on. And by default, these are the only directories that are monitored. Our game directory, which again, I've mentioned, our game directory is mapped to our content directory. It's basically the same thing. If you see slash game or reference to the game directory, it means any of the stuff in our content directory. And then the localization directory with an asterisk, asterisk asterisk after it. What that means is anything inside of this folder is going to be ignored because we don't have it set to include. We have it set to an exclude. Now this one down here where we have one, this is actually mine that I created. What I did was I created another folder inside my project. So if we look at this project and we go to source content, you'll notice physically on my disk, C projects UE4 blank project 414 source content it matches here that is where it is physically on my disk and then map directory 2 is virtually where do I want it remember we said game was our root game maps to our content well I want it under game source content so I have a game source content folder inside of the editor what this means is if I go ahead and I grab my source content and I drag that same image and I drop it into here. The engine is going to monitor that folder and then automatically ask me to import. So if I hit import, the same thing that happens like before, we're going to go ahead and get our image, our cat texture, but it's now in the source content folder. So it's where I want it to go. And physically on the disk, we have the 
whoops, we have the original image in one place and the U asset in another place. So that's good. That allows our artists to keep files separate and we don't have to clutter up our actual content directory with the sources. Now let's look at some of the options. Inside of our editor preferences, down here we have a couple options. Going back to here for our directories, you have your include and exclude. You can simply add or remove anything you want to add in. And if you add something in, it's basically what is going to be included or excluded in addition to this. So you could have, for example, everything in this folder, but not this, or you could have everything in this folder and this folder and this folder and this folder, and it's gonna chain down. Import threshold time is basically how long between each check is it gonna be. So around three seconds is when it's gonna check for new assets. Auto create assets should almost always be enabled. I've, I would never recommend unchecking it. What this does is it, that is what gives you the prompt to import your file once it asks you to import it. It's what converts it into a texture or a model or a static mesh or a wave sound cue thing like that. If this is unchecked, the image, the file will be processed, but nothing will be created. So you don't actually end up with an asset. Auto delete assets, it's nice because basically when you delete the source content file, it's going to delete anything related to it. Detect changes on startup. This is optional, depending on how you have it set up. Basically, instead of waiting till the game start, engine starts, and then giving you three seconds, it's just going to automatically check on startup. So since the last time it was closed, and it's going to go and re-import things. Prompt before action is on by default. Prompt before action, if we go ahead and we go back into here, and we drag our image back in, and we'll do this. Prompt before action is where we end up getting this little pop-up right here. If we check don't ask again and hit import, it's gonna go ahead and import our image like we expect. So we get our image and this will uncheck itself. Now in the future, if we grabbed another image or any other content and dropped it into our source. So that would have been helpful if I did, if I put that in the right place. Let's get rid of this. We can ignore that I did that because, well, why not? Uh, we go back in here. If you notice, I actually put that in my content. I meant to put it under source content. Now that we have that checkbox to ignore, let's grab two images this time. We'll drop them correctly into our source content folder. And then now you'll notice the engine's gonna detect some changes and it's gonna automatically import our two images. And you'll see processing source files, we get a message log, it tells us what it imported and our images are now in our source content. And we didn't have to click the import button. It basically automatically added it. Now, there is two other things you need to be aware of. We're gonna go ahead and create another folder that we want to work with. So we're gonna create a new directory to monitor. This time we're gonna monitor the meshes folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into our source content. I'm gonna make a meshes folder in here. And we're gonna call this meshes and then we are going to go ahead and um, we'll put a mesh in there in a little bit. So let's browse, let's find our meshes folder. So source content meshes, and we are going to map that to slash game slash meshes. Oops, and we'll put a little trailing slash. So all of our meshes should now go under game meshes. We'll go over here, we'll make a new folder, we'll call it meshes, and now we should automatically get our meshes in there. Cool, let's check it out. We'll go into here. I'm going to grab a mesh. So we'll grab, uh, we'll grab this and we'll drop it into here. It should check that and it should automatically import it into our meshes folder. And you'll see processing source changes and well, you'll see that it actually didn't do it. Why didn't it do it? Well, there's a couple things in here. The, let's go back into our project, our meshes. This source image is under the meshes folder under source content. If we go into our content source content and we look in here, first of all, there's no mesh folder. Second of all, if we look at this and you think about it, source content contains the meshes folder. So this will do sub categories is how it will work. So if we had meshes, images, pictures, it will check all of them as subcategories. We actually need to move this into its own folder outside of this. 
So you want to keep these folders as unique individual endpoints and not as subfolders. Subfolders will basically re-import when the master folder is checked. So we've changed this over to meshes and game meshes. We still have an issue that we need to actually create our meshes folder. So let's go ahead and go back to here. We'll make a new folder. We'll call it meshes. We'll go ahead and we're going to drag. Let's see. Let's grab another mesh. I know I have a couple more. We just got to find them. Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Um, here's a pipe. We're going to grab this pipe and we're going to drop it into our meshes folder for monitoring purposes. We'll go back in here. We'll wait. It should auto detect the change and it doesn't. This was the second thing I was mentioning. I don't know why. I don't know if it's supposed to work like this or it just doesn't like me. But whenever you make changes and you add new folders in, they don't seem to work in the project when it's currently open. You need to go ahead and close down the project, open the project back up, and it should now work properly, detect those folders and auto reimport things as needed. So we closed our project, we started back up, it should scan our folders and our folders should work properly. This is a kind of like a 2.5 or a third thing that I was gonna mention. It doesn't do anything magic in terms of the importing. It just simply starts the import process. So if it's something that is not unattended, in this case, we want to import an FBX, we're still going to need to select our options. So we'll go ahead and do that, and now it'll show up. I, you know, I now have in here my pipe, which was inside of my meshes folder. So we'll go back into here. You'll notice my blank project meshes, and we have my pipe. You will notice in here though, under source content meshes, I still have an issue. That's because I don't actually have a meshes folder for it to map to properly. So you kind of need to keep pay, pay attention to that. Anything that physically exists on the disk that you want to go somewhere has to have somewhere in the editor for it to go. So you want to create those things ahead of time. So that way when it attempts to import it, it has a valid location to go to. If it doesn't have a valid location, it's going to fail. So that is our auto reimport option.